So now it's the car is waiting for the signal that it can go. The official is checking if everything's right. And I do hear a ready to drive sound. Let's go. Blistering pace off the line. Yeah, it looks like they made some offerings to the goddess of uh, Freya uh, in between. I'm not, not sure exactly what happened, but this already looks uh, a lot better than the first time when it didn't want to go. Uh, so, so far pretty impressive. And it's always the first lap that's uh, really crucial uh, to figure out if these cars then can find their way. Um, and then after that, it's just a matter of uh, keeping strong. And uh, yeah, they do have some time to make up, of course. And we also saw a very impressive run from the Zurich team before and Milano team. Let's see what time they have. Definitely speeding up now in the second lap. It was a 35 in the first lap, similar to Milano and Zurich. So uh, second lap will really show its true pace. Yeah, it was a 35.98, so very, very close to the 30 second, 36 second mark. But this looks even faster, so let's see what the time will do. Purple time. Well, almost below the 30, so it's 30.02. Really, really good. So if they keep uh, the space up, it should be a really, really good time. Uh, we already mentioned that uh, the previous uh, fastest time will be very tough to beat, but they're, you know, this is going pretty well. No, and we're even hearing that sound of the front wing uh, scraping the asphalt on the bumps. Usually we only have that in the manual autocross and the manual endurance. Phenomenal performance. 29.49, so well below the 30 second mark. Wow. Well, you were saying earlier that that time would be hard to beat, but we stand corrected, uh, Matthias. Wow. I'm glad to see that it's uh, being beaten and still uh, such a close competition between all these teams. What I particularly like about this car is the racing line. Um, it really uh, goes wide on the exit, uh, takes the apex. It's beautiful, and I do hear some cheering. Yeah, again a couple of hundreds of seconds uh, faster, 29.41. Yeah, you see, help having the gods on your side really helps. Uh, so yeah, really impressive. Very good, well done. It really seems we're saving the best for last here at the autonomous track drive. Yeah, and we can even hear the car uh, uh, touching the ground some some places. So that says something about the speed. Talking about speed, that time is again faster. 29.38, wow, really good. Will we even see a sub-29 second uh, lap? Here on this last hairpin, it takes such a nice line. Exiting, the, almost hitting the blue cone, but not quite. Every lap, it's passing it with a few centimeters to spare. Now it's exactly the same time as the previous one. Only a couple of thousands, probably, because it's a 29.38. So it's very, very consistent indeed. Um, we could see a big improvement between the first couple of laps uh, and these laps in the middle. So that might be a setting or some sort. Uh, so I would, I would be surprised if they would make a huge jump again, but we never know. Let's keep the time in, the, in line. Yeah, 29.36. So again, a couple of hundred seconds uh, faster than, the, than their fastest time. But Almost every lap is a purple lap. Very, very impressive. Yeah, it almost feels like here in this middle section, uh, the car is accelerating faster and faster and faster every lap. And it's probably only marginal, uh, but still that's how it feels like. This time it's a 29.37. Just to give you an idea, their average lap time is 30.4. So on average, it's really, really good. Of course, they do have a little bit of time to make up, probably because they are uh, running out of order. Um, they So far, everything looks clean. I don't think they hit any cones yet. And I think the Zurich car did hit a few. So this might uh, end up being very close. Uh, who 29, takes this away? 29, 36. Again, uh, an improvement. Again, a purple lap time. Yeah, uh, as you were mentioning, Matthias, because they were running out of order, they get a 30-second uh, penalty. 
but in this rate, that would still put them uh, really high up on the ranking. Definitely, and uh, no cones, so this is the last lap as well. So we'll be seeing them approach the finish line and uh, locking up the fronts. Do we see a solid blue light? Yes, we do. <laughs> Extremely impressive run from the team, the team from Chalmers. Team members are so happy. With an average lap time of 30.11, that's very good. So that means that time stand it's at five minutes, uh, five minutes uh, total time, uh, something like that, and that's actually faster than the first lap of Leuven, for example. And I think uh, it will be extremely tight with uh, Zurich. Um, I think we'll only figure it out on the award ceremony uh, who will win in the end. Um, it's great job. Um, by the Swedish team. They were here, of course, uh, an hour before and uh, the car failed to start, but uh, they redeemed themselves for sure. Big hugs there from the team. Good job.